Hi everyone, this is a very quick setup of APRS on a Yaesu FT3D. There's a few things I'm not going to explain um, because, you know, I want to do a very quick video. There will be another video that will I'll take a long time to explain many different things. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to press the AB button, make sure you're in B. I like to press the AB button so that um, I can just see that frequency. I'm going to press the VM button. And for now, um, I'm just not going, you know, I'm not going to type in the APRS address yet. Um, okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold display. And I'm going to click on APRS. And then I'm going to go over some of these settings very quickly, the important ones. Again, there's many settings, but I'm going to show you the ones to get this going, okay? Number one, you don't need. Two, you don't need. Three, you don't need at the moment. Uh, four, modem. Uh, we're not going to turn it on yet. I'm going to do that towards the end. Five, no. Six, no. Seven, no. Eight, I want that on mute. So... Definitely, I want that on, okay? Then nine, no. Oh, the mute is when the modem, sometimes the modem makes, you know, this, these weird noises of, to mute that. Uh, 10, no. 11, no. 12, no. 13, I don't think so, no. Uh, 14, yes. This one, for right now, because we are uh, going to test it. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it even less, 30 seconds. This is just a test. If you're at home, uh, after this, make sure you change it. But when you're at home, <clears throat> most likely, you're going to want to set it 15, 30 minutes. And if you're walking, maybe five minutes. If you're in a car, maybe two or so. These are, you know, people have different suggestions. Okay. 30 seconds to test. Okay. What else? Beacon status text, yes. That one, I'm going to turn it on, okay? And why do I want to turn that one on? Because um, when you look at APRS.fi, you'll see a text that will be sent through the radio. Uh, I haven't seen it. It's probably also in the radio if, if somebody else receives it, but I haven't figured out that yet where it is. Um, text rate, I only have one text at the moment, so it's one out of one. This one, I'm going to type in the text, click on it, push on it one more time, display, and then you click on edit, you type in what people want to see, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. Again, trying to do this a little bit fast so that we can get this going. Beacon, um, text. Uh, let me see if I remember. Yes, this one, uh, you could send your beacons manually. I do it auto. Every 30 minutes, it's going to automatically send a beacon. Okay. Uh, there's also a smart beaconing. I don't have that one turned on. Okay. Comport settings, no. 18, no. GPS, GPS setup, no. Ah, GPS power. Yes, we want to turn that on. Okay. Why do we want to turn it on? So that we can get the coordinates. Uh, time set, that should be on automatic, so we won't touch that. GPS unit, mm, I don't think so. No, those are the units. Okay, call sign, yes, display. You gotta type in your call sign, and then a dash, and then some type of um, suffix that explains what the situation is. Like seven means, a handy talk, and then there's other numbers, okay, uh, that explain what type of radio you have, the situation that you're in. I'm going to click on back. My position, click on display here, is GPS. You can also type in your uh, GPS manually. Uh, symbol, click on display. Um, you can choose the type of icon you want. I like the Jeep. Go back. Uh, position. Comment, let me see. This one, I'm not sure what this is. Um, 
I have it off duty. I know emergency is in here somewhere there. And I think that might be very useful if you're in emergency, but I have it on off duty. Uh, let's see, smart beaconing, that's off. We're not gonna use that. Time zone, click on display. Um, you can look it up on the internet, how far you are away uh, from uh, Greenwich, I guess. Uh, UTC over here in California is minus eight. I'm gonna go back. Ah, okay. I'm gonna go to modem. Click on modem. I'm gonna turn on my modem at 1200. That's uh, here for this particular machine. Go back, go back. Now I'm gonna type in the address 144. 390. Make sure it's in VFO on the B band. Okay, let's wait 30 seconds. Let's see if it transmits. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now you can all, you'll see that uh, satellite is solid, means it's bringing in the GPS. There's a little dot right there, right? Circle with a dot. That one tells you it's an automatic mode. Uh, A12 means the modem is working. Uh, FM bar is, uh, I believe, um, digital. Click on the F -F FMW button. Click on S list. And there it is. You see that? KN6 BST um, minus 7 at 1615. That's pretty neat. Isn't it? Oh, they're transmitted again. Okay, so that beacon was transmitted. Hopefully, there is a, um, a repeater somewhere nearby, and then it, hopefully there's an eye gate, and then it goes into the internet, and hopefully uh, it, it'll show up in um, APRS.FI. Let's, let's look at FMW, S list. There it is, look at that. 